Hey guys, we're going to update the RC6GS radio by radio link to the newest firmware. This will allow us to run the R7FG receiver and actually get the battery monitoring. This can monitor a battery up to 6S and it will show you right on the screen. I'm going to show you guys how to update the radio, find the receiver, and show you what you actually get with the update. Take a look. The first thing to do is to download this file to your laptop. And there are links in the description to get this. There are two links, one for older computers and one for the newer computers like I'm using right here. This is the newer link. Plug your radio into the computer right here with a simple USB. Turn the radio on. And you get this. Yes, you will need to format the disc. Yes, we know. All right, format is complete. Now you can close this and see this right here. This folder is empty. All you have to do is drag this down into this folder. And once that is done, the radio is done. And that's it. You can turn the radio off. And we're going to power up the radio now. It kept my limitless. See that right there? That tells you that it can read the uh, voltage. Press both of those. I'm going to scroll all the way down. You still have your mixes from the last update. Right there, your ID seed. If you see that, you know you've installed the update correctly. With this feature, say you want to run a 2S, 3S, 4, 5, or 6S battery. You push both these buttons together. Then you scroll all the way down to 19. And the alarm. Press enter. And at this point, you can actually set the alarm at which the actual uh, radio will tell you you're getting close to cutoff. So 11.1, meant for 3S. However, you can fine tune that anywhere you want, all the way down to, how about say, I don't know, six volts for 2S. That will be pretty much the bare minimum because you'd be at three volts per cell. So you can adjust this pretty much anywhere you need it to be all the way up to 6s let's see how high this goes cruising right on up <laughs> well it gets way on up there i don't even know how high it's going to go and I'm going to bring this back to 3S, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how it looks on the screen when you're reading. When you bind the receiver the first time, the light's going to be flashing. This one is already bound. However, you put that uh, about 30 to 50 centimeters away from the antennas. There's a little button right there. You push that. Let's see if I can do this one-handed without messing something up. You get the flashing light. When that stops, you're already binded. Same procedure whether it's binded or not. Now we're going to plug a 3S into the receiver. It plugs in right here to these ports. Pay attention to the positive on the left, negative on the right. You'll, listen, you'll hear the radio beep. And there is the battery voltage. Notice I'm powering it from two different batteries too, so that's perfectly fine as well. And I already showed you how you can actually change that to where if this battery starts getting low, it'll actually start beeping at you and let you know. The battery plug adapter comes with the receiver. And if you're running XT60s, this is a very simple way to get your battery voltage directly to the receiver so you can view it on the transmitter.
This receiver is equipped with a gyro. To turn it on, you gotta poke something in right here and push that little button three times really fast. Okay, that should have activated the gyro. There you go. The battery I'm running in this is a Helios 1500 milliamp and it's at storage charge. So this should be a pretty quick run. You can see 11.3 volts right there. I'm gonna give it a little drive, a little steer. You see the voltage change? So this is very much real time. So anyway, give it a drive. Nice and easy. This home's motor in here. This is the first time I've actually run it. Hear that beep? That beep told me that it was right at the voltage warning or low voltage that I set at 11.1 volts, which is actually the factory default for this truck out of the package or this radio out of the package. Been a while since I've driven the Gen 8. So those little beeps, I'm not sure if you can hear them, but those are warning beeps. Cool. Now, say you're in a competition, you're driving along, and you hear that beeper beeping at you. Like, oh man, I better get set up, get a place off the trail to actually get my battery changed. As you know, you're about to go. And if you're running 2S or even 4S in whatever it is you're running up to 6S, you can totally set that up to work for you. That's a nice feature. The update is actually really easy to install. Hopefully this video helped you out on your update on yours. You get that file, links in the description, both for the files and to get your own RC6GS. So check those out. But if you have a newer computer, get the Mac file. Save it, put it to the desktop. Don't try to open it. There's no need to open it. Plug this into the computer. It'll tell you it needs to format, okay? Click the format. It'll say, this is gonna erase everything. Yep, we know that. Go ahead and do that. Then drag that file right in there, just like I showed you, and you've got the update. It's that simple. Now, the number one thing that I like about this update is being able to actually see your battery voltage. You're bashing around with your buddies and all that. You want to keep your batteries alive. So with this, you can set that alarm and it'll actually beep at you when you start to get low, not when you reach all the way at cutoff, you know, because if you have 6S in a basher or something like that, not all them cells are gonna discharge and pull down the same. So having this set up a little bit higher We'll give you some beeps and you'll know, hey, okay, time to go put this one away. Luckily for me, I have other vehicles I can drive or swap batteries out. So that's a really nice feature. I like the update. It ran good in this. I was able to show you guys the uh, beeping noise when you run down because it didn't last long. That run was pretty darn short. So pretty much this video was here to help you guys update your RC6 GS radio. I hope you liked the video. In that description, like I just mentioned a few seconds ago, there are links to get your update to uh, get everything set up. And while we're talking about links, there are affiliate links, both for eBay and Amazon. So make sure you check those. Um, if you have anything in your eBay or Amazon cart, you know, think about it. Leave them there, go to one of my videos, click one of the links, go check out. Every little bit helps. 
just a little bit of a commission. So guys, hopefully you liked the video. Hopefully I was able to help you get your radio updated. And thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.